Okay, so today is Harvest Peppers Day. Here's my pepper bed, and it's sharing it with uh, sweet potatoes. And I had an accidental seed pop up. This is Queen Empress tree, the world's fastest growing tree. It'll probably be double that size, probably be up to almost six feet tall by the end of summer. So I'll have to dig it up and sell it, I guess. But anyway, we're harvesting bell peppers, serranos, and over here's jalapenos. We can take another look at my other stuff over there. There's lemongrass, look how well that thing is doing. There's actually three plants there. There's a basil that popped up in the middle of the one on the right. Uh, these are my patio size zucchinis. They're for containers. My lemon tree is loaded. My little pear tree and my rhubarb. But today we're gonna concentrate on picking the peppers. I'll give you a quick glance of my uh, Mary morning glories. You got red and then the white ones out front here growing with the blue. Oh wow, red, white, and blue. I didn't think about that. Anyway, back in a minute. We're back. It took two of these containers to get all these bell peppers. I picked half of the serranos and there's still another container of those to pick out of their serranos and jalapenos. So I was just gonna show you how much there is and all the colors I got. I got red, I got the chocolate, yellow, and one little itty bitty black one. So that is what I got. I'm gonna chop it up into little diced pieces and put them in the freezer. And I'm also going to make, um, what is it, uh, fajitas. I'm gonna cut strips and set those aside and put out maybe four of them for stuffed bell peppers. Um, anyways, I'll show you when I get done. Okay, now I have everything separated. I'm gonna make stuffed bell peppers out of these guys. Let's just see how big they are compared to my hand. These are gonna be the diced ones that I'll be freezing. And then these over here will be sliced to make fajitas with. Okay, and we're back. So here's the final thing I did so you guys can see. These will be my stuffed bell peppers. These will be fajitas and a stir fry with the nice colorful ones. This is my container of diced. And what you do with these is put them on a cookie sheet like so, kind of a single layer-ish, freeze them, and then put them in a Ziploc freezer bag and take them out as you need them for recipes. And so that's what you do with uh, excess bell peppers. Okay, back one last time. So the bell peppers have been through the freezer this is actually my second batch and you can see that they go into this ziploc baggie and like i said you put them in a single layer put them on a sheet i gotta set this down a second for good up close in case please take a spatula and loosen them up like so and then put them in a Ziploc baggie and they stay separated because they're uh, frozen individually. And uh, you just take out what you need at a time out of the bag. It works out great. So we got enough to get through the winter. Okay, that's it for this video.